There isn't a day that goes by without another story of hacking or stolen data in the news. From political campaigns to corporations to breaches at the highest levels of government, no organization is immune to the risk. Billions of dollars are spent protecting sensitive data, yet 95% of all cybercrime can be stopped by following a few basic cybersecurity guidelines that cost almost nothing to implement. Hackers know that the easiest way into a system is through naive employees without security knowledge, so they target employees at every level in an organization. One simple mistake by one single worker could bring down an entire network or cause a data breach that makes the evening news. Your company could face blackmail, data loss, data theft, monetary theft, government fines, lawsuits, reputation loss, and eventually bankruptcy. However, with a focus on basic cybersecurity guidelines, the vast majority of cyber attacks can be stopped. Eighty percent of hacking attacks are the result of stolen or weak and easy-to-guess passwords. Unfortunately, many employees and businesses are not educated about passwords and fall into the trap of using short, obvious words for convenience or passwords based on personal information so they can remember them. Many even forget to change the password that comes with a computer, modem, or Wi-Fi router. It's easy for hackers to buy lists of manufacturers' default passwords. Hackers are not like the average person who gets locked out of their account after three failed password attempts from the same IP address. Hackers use thousands of IP addresses at once, they have programs with millions of common passwords, and use computing power and technology far more advanced than the average person has ever seen. By using social media and public records, even low-level hackers can break passwords based on personal information quickly. However, removing personal information is not nearly enough. By exploiting security vulnerabilities to pull databases offline, cyber criminals can use computer hacking systems that run through between 100 billion to 350 billion password combinations per second. Recently, a system ran every possible eight-character password containing upper and lower case letters, numbers, and symbols in under six hours, and these systems are only going to get faster. The majority of security experts now recommend passwords be at least 16 characters long and contain random capital letters, lowercase letters, numbers, and symbols, and be changed every 60 days. Additionally, never use the same password twice. Every business and personal account should have a unique, random password. Think of the major companies that have been hacked in just the last year. If your email address and password were in one of their databases, it was sold to thousands of hackers. If you use the same password everywhere, important accounts like your bank and company network can be accessed. Using a password manager application is the most efficient way to keep track of and change passwords. Password managers create and keep complicated passwords for all your accounts, allowing you to keep just one complicated password for the password manager. If an account offers two-factor authentication, enable it. Two-factor authentication uses an additional level of security combined with a password, such as secret questions or a code sent via text or email. Use information that's not publicly available for secret questions. For instance, your favorite teacher's name. Hackers will research social media pages to find possible answers to secret questions. If there's any indication that a password's been stolen, it's critical that IT or security is informed so that steps can be taken to plug the breach and contain the damage. Cyber criminals have two goals when they send an email. They want to trick the recipient into clicking on a link or trick them into opening an attachment. This technique is called phishing. Most commonly, they intend to release malware into the user's network that will steal information, destroy information, or encrypt information and hold it for ransom. Malware is a term for all types of malicious files and programs and includes files that are viruses and ransomware. In many cases, cybercriminals need just one click from one user to gain access to an entire network. 
If you only remember one thing about email, it should be don't click on a link or open an attachment unless you're 100% sure it's safe. How do you know if an email is from a hacker and not safe? It's not always obvious. Cyber criminals have evolved and become much more sophisticated with their techniques. They now use a strategy called social engineering. Social engineering uses public information found on websites and in social media to impersonate people like company executives or employees in the IT department. Once they have a name and email address, they spoof an email using forged from, sender, or reply to addresses. A spoofed email will look identical to that of a colleague, vendor, or even a company executive. Hackers know that people are much more likely to provide information to someone they believe they know or who is in authority. The key is always to be suspicious of emails with attachments and links, no matter who they're from. Look for emails that are out of the ordinary, such as an email from a company executive who's never contacted you before. If you've never received an email from the company's CFO and you receive one asking for your network login credentials, it should raise a red flag. Be wary of emails that are out of character. If a colleague who's only sent you business-related emails sends you a link to a funny video, there's a good chance the account has been hacked or spoofed. Be suspicious of information that wasn't requested. For instance, if an email says, here are the files you requested and you didn't request any files, the attachment is most likely malicious. Be cautious of help you didn't request. If a link says, in response to your request for help, and you didn't request help, there's a strong chance that the link will unleash malware into your computer and network. Unsolicited links that go to websites you've never heard of or that are variances of well-known sites are almost always malicious. Be wary of emails from banks, government organizations, or large retail companies asking for information. Criminals will clone well-known websites to make themselves look legitimate. If you receive an email link you weren't expecting from a bank, retailer, or any other organization you have a business relationship with, don't follow the link. Type their web address directly into the browser and log in to your account to verify. It's never okay under any circumstance to send confidential information via email. Even if the recipient is legitimate, emails are often forwarded and stored on other servers. Your confidential information is often unsecured and vulnerable to theft in multiple locations. If you have any suspicions about an email, call the sender to verify its authenticity and report it to your IT department. Sometimes the sender has been hacked and doesn't even realize it. Another common hacking strategy is to use security vulnerabilities that are public knowledge. They count on businesses and individuals forgetting or putting off installing security patches. In early 2017, a virus that installed ransomware worldwide used a known vulnerability that could have been fixed with a simple security update that was already available. Companies that failed to act quickly were forced to pay a ransom to unencrypt their data or lose their data entirely. Security updates to network firewalls and software should be automated. This one simple step will eliminate most of the risk of being hacked through a security vulnerability. Once these vulnerabilities are public knowledge, hackers are counting on individuals and organizations to be lazy or oblivious to security updates, and they make them pay dearly for it. Never log directly into a public Wi-Fi network. They're not secure for personal or business use. Public Wi-Fi connections are filled with cyber criminals just waiting for you to log in. And the second you do, they can look at everything on your computer. Anytime you log in at a hotel, coffee shop, conference, and trade show, you are at risk. Through your computer, hackers can learn passwords, steal your computer's data, and leave malware and viruses. The next time you log into your company's network, the virus and malware could spread and infect your network. The only way to use public Wi-Fi is with a VPN. VPNs, or virtual private networks, increase security by masking the initial IP address and encrypting all online data transfers. 
networks need to be secured with the same care as business networks. Just like public networks, poorly secured home networks can bring viruses and malware into company networks through computers that have been connected to them. Routers must be protected with strong, unique passwords that are at least 16 characters long and contain random capital letters, numbers, and symbols. Never use the default password that came with a device. Create a guest network for use by your friends, family, and visitors. If you log into your network from home, this is critical. USB drives are one of the easiest ways for a hacker to infect your machine. If you receive a USB from an unfamiliar source, report it to your IT department. Cybercriminals use social engineering techniques with USB drives as well. If you receive a USB you weren't expecting from a colleague, vendor, customer, or friend, verify that it's from the person who it says it's from. Cybercriminals have even been known to attack a business by inserting a USB into one of its computers in person. This can be easier than you would think. Most offices are full of activity. Vendors, salespeople, consultants, customers, contractors, and many other persons who are not employees move through offices every day. All it takes is one cybercriminal inserting a USB drive into one computer for only a minute to compromise an entire system. By locking your computer every time you leave it and setting it to lock after a short period of non-activity, you drastically reduce the opportunity for a USB to attack your device. Make sure that any information you submit on the web is given to a legitimate site and is encrypted. When HTTP is at the beginning of a URL, it is unencrypted, and a hacker could be waiting to capture your information as you input it. When HTTPS is at the beginning, the site is encrypted, and it's far more difficult for criminals to steal your data. Be extremely careful downloading software. Software downloads from unfamiliar sources should always be carefully researched and pre-approved. Also, be sure you're downloading from the correct source. Criminals copy well-known retail websites and place them at URLs that are just one character different from the real site. Downloading free software in games is almost always a security risk. An extremely large percentage of these downloads come with malware or viruses. Social engineering is used to trick people via the phone as well. Some of the most common tricks are a call from the IT department asking for your password information or a call from an executive asking for a transfer of money. Never give any personal or business information when receiving an unsolicited phone call, text message, instant message, or email and verify important transactions before acting on them. No one outside of your organization should ever have access to confidential information or intellectual property without authorization. Change the settings on your social media accounts so they can only be viewed by friends and family. Public profiles make it easy for cyber criminals to find personal information. Never grant access to devices used for work purposes to friends and family. This includes personal devices used for work business. Never use file-sharing websites without prior approval from your employer. While they're convenient, they're not always secure. Most devices are portable these days, and this creates an added security risk. When you're in a public area, never turn your back to a device or leave it unattended. Even at home, device security is critical. Never leave laptops or tablets out if you have visitors that you don't know well. When traveling, devices should remain with you or be secured in a safe in your hotel room. Never log personal devices into your organization's network without authorization. If your organization doesn't have a separate login, use your phone's cellular network. Ninety-five percent of cybersecurity breaches occur because of human error. This means the safety and security of a company's network is almost completely in the hands of its employees. The damage of a successful cyber attack can be catastrophic. Money, time, productivity, reputation, brand identity, and investor confidence are just a few of the negative consequences of a breach. 
With so much at stake and with most procedures so easy to implement, it's imperative that every employee takes personal responsibility for following cybersecurity guidelines. The survival of their organization may depend on it.